What is up friends, my name is Ronald and today I want to show you what Neptune is capable of. Neptune is our new Markdown based what you see is what the get editor that we published just a few weeks ago. The team has been working really hard to perfect the experience and we've been getting great feedback from the Hashtag community since releasing it. Today, let's dive into the details. Now, Neptune is already the default for all Hashnode users, so all you have to do is hit the big blue right button in the navigation bar again, which takes you right into your new cockpit. So what do we have here? This all looks very unfamiliar and new, but I'm going to show you in detail what every section of this page is capable of. So in the main content area here, we have our new editor. It's called Neptune and it's a what you see is what you get markdown based editor. So the main benefit is you just start writing and what you see while writing is exactly what your blog post will look like after publishing. So we have our comment palette here. We can hit slash and then see uh, different kinds of uh, content, uh, content blocks. For example, a simple text, a heading, or you know, bullet lists, numbered lists, code blocks, quotes. So um, we support many, many different content types. So let's maybe start with a numbered list. Uh, Neptune deep dive, let's talk about the new sidebar, the new sidebar and uh, Neptune in general and also draft and switching between blocks. Okay, and let's also create a heading for the new sidebar, a heading again for the new sidebar and also maybe a code block. Let's write some JavaScript const uh, sum b a plus b. So as you can see, it's, it's very, very easy and convenient to just start adding content and immediately see what this blog post will look like. So now let's also add a quote and say Neptune is a really cool tool. And now if we hit preview, we can see what this blog post will look like on desktop, on mobile, also the newsletter on, e uh, on desktop and also on mobile. So as you can see, this is what the blog post will look like after publishing. And um, it's exactly the same as I just wrote. Just it's also very easy to add media such as YouTube videos, for example, also embed tweets. We can easily do this by hitting slash and searching for YouTube and embed a YouTube video here. Let's promote our own video for a second here. Um, so let's talk about the add this and we can also remove this again, of course. And if we, if we uh, open the preview to this draft, we can do this from the sidebar here. Select preview draft. We can see that the video is embedded automatically and also everything that we've added before, all content blocks have been added and look exactly the same as in our um, in our editor here. Let's also look at the new sidebar here on the left hand side. Uh, you can see that it's now more convenient than ever to switch between drafts. So what we just uh, wrote in the other blog post here, uh, we created this draft, we added some content blocks and now if we switch to another draft under my draft here, we can see that everything has been saved immediately. Um, we can switch back and forth between these and just always pick up where we left off, which, which is very, very neat. It is also possible to add drafts to your favorites so that you always see them on top. To do so, just go to the sidebar here, click the Add to Favorites button and you always see them on the top. You can also search for drafts if you ever have, you know, a thousand drafts you need to choose from. And to do so, just search for Neptune, for example, here and I see the draft immediately. If you want to focus on one article to publish at one moment, the sidebar gets out of your way by using this toggle sidebar button on top of here. So that you can just focus on one article and don't get distracted by the other drafts you have in the pipeline. Besides switching between drafts and picking up where you left off, you can also open published articles you have created in the past and edit them as well. So you can uh, continue editing them and publish an update if you want to. This is also possible within the new sidebar. You can also copy the link to your article as well as view the blog post directly on, on your blog home. So 
and you can also delete the blog of course uh, the blog post if you don't want it anymore to start a new draft you don't have to go anywhere just use this new draft button below give this one a name let's call it um, another draft and continue writing here ABC go to another draft again and move back here and we can see it's there of course and we can also open the preview of this one preview draft we can also copy the link if we want to send it to someone and we can delete it if we don't need it anymore we can see the preview now and close this again and I don't need this anymore so I'm going to delete it and it's gone and I'm back in my other draft Another great feature of a little sidebar here on the left is that it's possible to switch between uh, my personal blog, for example, and also a team blog here and immediately see the changes in the sidebar regarding the drafts and the published articles. So I have my personal blog here and I also have a team blog. So now I see the drafts and the blogs of my personal blog. And if I switch here, I see that I have one draft open here on the team blog and I can continue writing here just in my personal uh, blog and yeah, switch again back to my personal blog it switches to the first draft here and if I switch again back to the team blog my draft is still there this is very very cool so before you had to um, navigate to the blog itself and then select the draft you had there and now it's easily possible within the sidebar if you want to go back in time because you lost some important piece of your blog post you can do so by using this uh, revision history button here and see what changes you have made and what this article looked like or this draft looked like uh, at an earlier stage. So you can always go back to uh, one specific version and restore this one as well. Also maybe just copy uh, the content and paste it into your draft again. Finally, once you are ready to publish your blog post, just hit the publish button over here and there is a slide over where you can then finally select the blog you want to publish this on, the personal one, the team blog or any other blog you're a part of and um, yeah, just select if you want to send this article to your subscribers, define the slug and so on and you're good to go. Now then just hit publish and your article is live within the Hashnode community. Now to wrap up, Neptune with the new sidebar brings some great improvements to the overall writing experience here on Hashnode. You can write your articles, you see the changes immediately and you just see what the blog post will look like uh, after publishing just while you're writing, which is a really, really big improvement to what was there before um, with the preview and the write mode. And we also have the sidebar where you can uh, switch between drafts. You can also edit existing uh, blog posts and you can also toggle the sidebar away if you just want to focus on writing. So overall, we think that this new experience is really great. We got amazing feedback from the Hashnode community and we would love for you to give it a try. Let us know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. 